What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you some examples regarding calculating limits and in this question it asks you evaluate the limits or explain why it doesn't exist. First example, I'm gonna start from simple examples to more difficult examples. x squared minus 4x plus 1. When x is approaching 4, we're gonna say that the limit from both sides is going to be 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 1, which is going to be 16 minus 16 plus 1, which is going to be 1. Next example is limit of 3, 1 minus x, 2 minus x, when x is approaching Two. This case again is going to be 1, 3 times 1 minus 2, 2 minus 2, which is going to make it equal to 0. Next one, limit of x plus 3 over x plus 6 when x is approaching 3. The answer is going to be 3 plus 3 over 3 plus 6. It's going to be 6 over 9 or 2 over 3. Next example. Limit of x squared over 4 minus x when x is approaching negative 4. So in this case, you're going to say negative 4 to the power of 2. 4 minus negative 4 is going to be 16 over 8 and the answer is going to be 2. Next one, limit of x squared minus 1 over x plus 1 when x is approaching 1. It's going to be 1 squared minus 1 over 1 plus 1. It's going to be 0 over 2. It's going to be equal to 0. Next example is limit of x squared minus 1 over x plus 1 when x is approaching negative 1. So in this case, it's going to be negative 1 squared minus 1 over negative 1 plus 1 is going to be 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1, which is 0 over 0. So whenever it's 0 over 0, it means that we need to look for factoring or rationalizing the equation in this example we have x squared minus 1 which we can factor to x minus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 and i'm going to say that limit f when x approaches negative 1 then as you see here these two cancel out and it's going to be basically x minus 1 and when x approaching negative 1 is going to be negative 1 minus 1 equals to negative 2 so that's basically how to calculate the limits some examples when it is 0 over 0 you can factor numerator or denominator and cancel out and when you simplify it you can evaluate the limit again next example it says limit of x squared minus 6x plus 9 over x squared minus 9 when x is approaching 3. So when you sub it there, it's going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 9 over 3 squared minus 9. That's going to make it as 0 over 0. Then it means that we need to basically factor it again. It's going to be x minus 3 to the power of 2, x minus 3 times x plus 3, when x is approaching 3. That's going to be limit of x minus 3 over x plus 3, when x is approaching 3. So, in this case, it's going to be 3 minus 3 over 3 plus 3, which is going to be 0 over 6 equals to 0. Okay, next example is going to be 
limit of x squared plus 2x over x squared minus 4 when x is approaching negative 2. Again, we have negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 over negative 2 squared minus 4, which is going to be 4 minus 4 over 4 minus 4, which is 0 over 0. It means that we need to factor it or rationalize it. In this example, we need to factor it. So when you factor it in the numerator, we have common factor of x. You can factor x is going to be x plus 2. And on the denominator, you have difference of square. So you can basically write it as x minus 2 times x plus 2 when x is approaching negative 2. Then you simplify these two cancels out. It's going to be limit of x over x minus 2 when x is approaching negative 2, which is going to be negative 2 over negative 4. When you reduce it, it's going to be 1 over 2. Next example is limit of 1 over 4 minus x squared when x is approaching 2. This example we have 1 over 4 minus 2 squared, which is going to be 1 over 0. So since it's 1 over 0, it's going to be going to infinity. Next one. Limit of 3x plus 4x squared over x squared minus x cubed when x is approaching 0. So when you calculate it, it's going to be 3 times 0 plus 4, 0 squared over 0 squared minus 0 cubed, which is going to be 0 over 0. It means that we need to factor it. So it's limits of x, 3 plus 4x over x, x uh, minus x squared. Or basically we can factor x squared here. It's going to be 1 minus x so when you cancel that it's going to be 3 plus 4x over x times 1 minus x so that's going to make it as 3 over 0 which is going to be infinity Next example, limit of square root of x minus 3, x minus 9, when x is approaching 9. When you sub it there, it's going to be square root of 9 minus 3 over 9 minus 9, which is going to be 3 minus 3 over 9 minus 9, 0 over 0. How to solve it? Basically, we can follow the difference of squares and we can factor it as denominator we can change it to root x minus 3 times root x plus 3 when x is approaching 9 these two cancels out is going to be limit of 1 over square root of x plus 3 when x is approaching 9 it's going to be 1 over 6 Next example is limits of 4 plus h minus 2 over h, h approaches 0. This example, you sub it there, is going to be 4 minus 2 over 0, and it's going to be 0 over 0. In order to fix it, we can multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator what does that mean it means that i just write the numerator and denominator then i multiply it by
they conjugate up their numerator. So instead of root 4 plus h minus 2, write root 4 plus h plus 2. So multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. Then when you multiply these two, difference of squares is going to be 4 plus h minus 4 over h times square root of 4 plus h plus 2. When h is approaching 0. These two cancels out, it's going to be limit of 1 over square root of 4 plus h plus 2 when h is approaching 0. Then the answer is going to be 1 over 4 because it's going to be square root of 4 which is 2, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. Next one is limit of x minus pi squared over pi x when x is approaching pi. So in this case, what we need to do, we have pi minus pi to the power of 2 divided by pi times pi, which is going to be pi squared. So the answer is going to be 0 over pi squared, which is going to be 0. Next one, limit of absolute value of x minus 2 when x is approaching negative 2. In this case, we need to find out the right limit and left limit. Limit of x minus 2 when x is approaching negative 2 positive and limit of x minus 2 when x approaching negative 2 negative. You know, when for x values greater than 2, absolute value of x minus 2 will be equal to x minus 2. For those x values less than 2, absolute value of x minus 2 is going to be negative times x minus 2. So it's going to be x minus 2 and here is going to be negative x minus 2. negative 4 and here we have positive 4 so since they are not equal I'm going to say limit of does not exist next example is limit of absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2 when x is approaching 0. So we know for values of x greater than 2 absolute value of x minus 2 will be equal to x minus 2. For those x values less than 2 absolute value of x minus 2 will be negative times x minus 2. So, for any values around 0, we have the second approach because those are going to be less than 2. So, absolute value of x minus 2 will be always equal to negative times x minus 2. So, it's going to be limit of negative x minus 2 over x minus 2 when x is approaching 0. So the answer is going to be negative 1 because these two cancels out and you have negative 1. So in this case, the right limit and left limit are the same because we are talking about less than two numbers. Next example, we have limit of x minus 2 over x minus 2. Same example, but this time x approaches 2. Again, for x values greater than 2, absolute value of x minus 2 is x minus 2. For x values less than 2, absolute value of x minus 2 is going to be equal to negative times x minus 2. So that will be limit of x 
right hand side is going to be x minus 2 over x minus 2 which will be 1 and left limit is going to be negative 1 so in this case right limit and left limit are not equal so limit does not exist because they are different the right limit is one the left limit is negative one now if you compare it with the previous example since it was around zero in any case the right limit and left limit are going to be the same it's going to be equal to negative one Next example, it says limit of x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 1 when x is approaching 1. So in that case, we have 1 squared minus 1 over 1 squared minus 2 plus 1 is going to be 0 over 0. Then it's going to be limit of x minus 1 times x plus 1 x minus 1 times x minus 1 or x minus 1 squared then x is approaching 1 in this case you cancel x minus 1 and x minus 1 is gonna change it to x plus 1 over x minus 1 when x is approaching 1 so that will be 2 over 0 which is going to be infinity but when it is positive it's going to be positive infinity when you're talking about left limit is going to make it as negative infinity why because 2 over 0 minus which is slightly less than negative the value is negative so positive divided by negative number is going to be negative so the answer is going to be negative infinity next example is limits of square root of 4 minus 4x plus x squared over x minus 2 when x is approaching 2 so that's going to be limit of two minus x to the power of two when x is over x minus two when x is approaching two so that's going to make it as limit of absolute value of negative 2 minus x when x minus 2 when x is approaching 2 so if x is less than 2 absolute value of 2 minus x will be 2 minus x when x is greater than 2 absolute value of 2 minus x is going to be x minus 2 so we're going to say that the limit of this function when x is approaching 2 plus is going to be 1 when it is going toward left is going to be negative 1 so since they are not equal limit doesn't exist okay next example is limit of x over square root of 4 plus x minus square root of 4 minus x when x is approaching 0 so when you sub it there it's going to be 0 over root 4 minus root 4 0 over 0 it means that we need to multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so it means that it's called rationalizing also it is not a good term to use rationalizing but I've seen in some textbooks that they use this term 
but the best term is to basically multiply by the conjugate. So then simplify. It's going to be x times 4 plus x plus 4 minus x. And here is going to be 4 plus x minus 4 minus x when x is approaching 0. That's going to be limit of x times square root of 4 plus x plus square root of 4 minus x. It's going to be over 2x. Why 2x? Because x plus x and 4 minus 4 cancel out. So x and x cancels out is going to be limit of square root of 4 plus x plus square root of 4 minus x over 2 when x is approaching 0. So that's going to be root 4 plus root 4 over 2. So 2 plus 2, 4 over 2 is going to be 2. Next example is limit of x squared minus 1 over square root of x plus 3 minus 2 when x is approaching 1. When you sub it there, it's going to be limit. It's going to be 1 minus 1 over square root of 4 minus 2. That's going to be 0 over 0. It means that we basically follow the multiplication by conjugate. So I multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. In this case. So that's going to be limits of x squared minus 1. Square root of x plus 3 plus 2 over x plus 3 minus 4. Then you factor x squared minus 1, which is going to be x minus 1 times x plus 1 times square root of x plus 3 plus 2 over x minus 1. These two cancels out and it's going to be limit of x plus 1 times square root of x plus 3 plus 2 over 1 when x is approaching 1. It's going to be 2 times square root of 4 plus 2 which is going to be 2 plus 2, that's 4. So 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Next example. Limits of x squared plus 3x over x plus 2 to the power of 2 minus x minus 2 to the power of 2 when x is approaching 0. So as you see here, it's going to be 0 over 0. So what you can do, we can factor the numerator and also the denominator is going to be x plus 2 minus x minus 2 times x plus 2 plus x minus 2. So as you see here, you can simplify it. In here, you can just change it to 4. And in here, you change it to 2x because 2 minus 2 is going to be 0 when x is approaching 0. Then x and x cancels out is going to be limit of x plus 3 over 8 actually 4 times 2 is going to be 8 when x is approaching 0. That's going to make it as 3 over 8. So that's the limit for this example. Next one is limit of x plus 1 squared minus x minus 1 squared over x when x is approaching 
0. Then you sub it there is going to be 0 over 0. So what we need to do, I'm going to expand it, write it as x plus 1 minus x minus 1 x plus 1 plus x minus 1 over x that's going to do it as limit of 2 times 2x over x when you cancel out it's going to be equal to 4 next example is limit of x minus 4 square root of x plus 3 over x squared minus 1 when x is approaching 1 so when you sub it there it's gonna make it as 0 over 0 so we can limit factor that one is going to be square root of negative 3 and negative 1 because the product has to be 3 and the sum has to be negative 4 so we can factor it we can consider a quadratic function if we have the variable as square root of x over x minus 1 times x plus 1 and x minus 1 I can write it as square root of minus 1 square root of x plus 1 times x plus 1 so that's basically what I factored x squared minus 1 to this one then I cancel square root of x minus 1 from numerator and denominator then it will reduce to square root of x minus 3 over square root of x plus 1 times x plus 1 when x is approaching 1 that's going to be 1 minus 3 over 2 times 2 that will be negative 2 over 4 which is negative 1 over 2 next example is limit of x cubed plus 1 over x plus 1 when x is approaching negative 1 as you see here it's going to be 0 over 0 but if you factor the numerator it's going to be x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 over x plus 1 when x is approaching negative 1 these two cancels out it's going to be limits of x squared minus x plus 1 when x is approaching negative 1 that's going to be negative 1 squared minus negative 1 plus 1 Gonna be 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's gonna be positive 3 next example we have limits of x to the power of 4 minus 16 over x cubed minus 8 x approaches 2 that's 0 over 0 you can factor the numerator to x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 4 and x squared minus 4 I can write this x minus 2 times x plus 2 here x cubed minus 8 is the same as x cubed minus 2 cubed which I can factor it Then you can cancel x minus 2 from the numerator and denominator. So that's going to be reduced to x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 4. x is going to work too. Which is going to be 4 plus 4, 2 plus 2 over. 4 plus 4 plus 4 that's 8 times 4 over 12 so 
So we have 32 over 12. When we divide it by 4, it's going to be 8 over 3. Next example is limit of 2x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 4 over x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 2 when x is approaching 8. So when you sub it there, it's going to be 8 to the power of 2 over 3 minus 4. 8 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 2. That's going to be 0 over 0. So we need to factor that. So it's going to be limit of x1 over 3 minus 2 times x to the power 1 over 3 plus 2 over x to the power 1 over 3 minus 2. These two cancels out. It's going to be limit of x octa. It's going to be going toward 8. 2 plus 2 equals to 4. So that's the final answer. So these are the examples for finding the limits. And if we don't have it, I explained why limit doesn't exist. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.